In recent decades, we've seen sweeping changes in same-sex marriage laws. In fact, the legal landscape surrounding same-sex marriage and related issues continues to be rather dynamic. In Adams v. Howerton, we rewind the clock to a 1982 immigration case in which a U.S. citizen tries to obtain spousal status for his homosexual partner. In 1971, Australian Anthony Sullivan met U.S. citizen Richard Adams in America. Sometime after Sullivan's U.S. visitor visa expired, he and Adams were married by a minister in 1975. That same year, they obtained a marriage license from the Boulder, Colorado County Clerk. Adams then petitioned the Immigration and Naturalization Service, or INS, to have Sullivan classified as an immediate relative spouse of a U.S. citizen based on Sullivan's alleged status as Adams' spouse. The INS denied the petition, claiming that the relevant immigration statute didn't recognize same-sex marriages. The Board of Immigration Appeals affirmed. Adams and Sullivan then sued the INS Acting District Director Joseph Howerton in district court, challenging this final administrative decision. The district court held that a U.S. citizen spouse in a homosexual marriage does not qualify that spouse as an immediate relative for immigration purposes. Adams and Sullivan appealed to the Ninth Circuit, 